Hello! Today we're going to talk about two infinitives and gerunds. Two infinitives is the base form of verb and can be used as nouns, adjectives, or adverbs. For example, number one, I finally decided to join the mid-semester class. Number two, the seller is trying to get all his goods sold. In negative sentences, the structure is not to, as we find in the example number three and number four. Number three, we decided not to join the vacation. Number four, the child is trying not to spill the water. What are the functions of two infinitive? The first function is to indicate the purpose or the intention of an action. For example, number one, I'm calling you to ask about our pet. My purpose of calling you is to ask about our pet. Example number two, she came to collect her paycheck. The meaning of this sentence is that her purpose of coming is to collect her paycheck. The second function of to infinitive as the subject of the sentence. For example, to sleep is the only thing Greg needs after his long night shift. Another example, to visit Raja Ampat is my dream. In these two sentences, we can see that two infinitives to sleep and to visit Raja Ampat are the subjects of the sentences. The third function is to make a comment or a judgment. Example number one, this is the right thing to do. It means that in my calculation, this is the right thing to do. Example number two. That is a dangerous way to behave. It also means that I consider that that is a dangerous way to behave. Two infinitive after adjective. The pattern is subject plus to be plus adjective plus for or of someone and continued with to infinitive. For example, it is good of you to talk to me. The next example, it is important for Jake to be patient with his little brother. In this sentence, we can see that good and important are adjectives and they are followed by two infinitives. Two infinitives after adverbs of two and enough. The two infinitive is used with two and enough to express the reasoning behind our satisfaction or dissatisfaction. For example, there is too much sugar to put in this bowl. I had too many books to carry. This soup is hot enough to make you feel fresh. The manager is not satisfied enough to give bonus to his employees. Remember, there are verbs which are always followed by two infinitive. They are agree, refuse, promise, threaten, offer, attempt, manage, fail, decide, plan, arrange, hope, appear, seem, pretend, afford, forget, learn, dare, tent, need, mean, intent. For your information, all these verbs must be memorized. Actually, you can learn it easily if you read a lot. But if you don't read a lot, you will have to memorize all the verbs. For example, number one, it was late. 
so we decided to take a taxi home. Number two, I like George, but I think he tends to talk too much. Number three, how old were you when you learned to drive? Number four, they agreed to lend me some money when I told them the position I was in. The next example, he's lazy. He needs to work harder. Example number six, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. Gerunds. Gerunds are words that are formed with verbs but act as nouns. Gerunds are easy to spot because the form is verb plus ing. For example, number one. Swimming in the ocean has been Sharon's passion since she was a little. Number two, let's go camping with Jake and Finn. Number three, Bill avoided using his car to school. Positions of gerunds. Gerunds take all the places of nouns. They are a subject, object, an object of preposition. For example, number one, fishing makes people relaxed. In this sentence, fishing is the subject of the sentence and the verb is makes. Number two, Erna avoids eating sugar due to her diet. In this sentence, eating sugar is the object of the verb avoids. Number three, Perry is talking about starting a new company. In this sentence, starting a new company is the object of preposition about. There are verbs which are followed by gerunds. Admit, delay, enjoy, include, mention, regret, avoid, deny, finish, involve, mind, risk, carry on, Dislike, give up, justify, miss, suggest, consider, can't help, couldn't help, imagine, keep on, practice. Again, all these verbs must be memorized too. For examples, number one, we dislike reading poem. Number two, I enjoy playing chess. Number three, Susan's give up playing ice hockey. There are also phrases which are always followed by gerunds. To be busy, feel like, it's good or it's no good, spend one's time, there's no point, worth, don't mind, how about, it's no use. There's no. What about? Examples. 1. I don't mind telling them my opinion. 2. How about walking home instead of taking the car? 3. It's no good talking to this girl. Now, let's do exercises. Please prepare your pen and paper. This is the instruction. Complete the sentences with the correct forms of the verbs between brackets. Number 1. Diana enjoys listen to music. Number 2. They don't mind do the washing up. Number 3. His name is not easy, remember. 4. Sandy is really good at sing. 5. We waited by a movie ticket. Now, let's check the answers. Diana enjoys listening to music. 2. They don't mind doing the washing up. 3. His name is not easy to remember. 4. Sandy is really good at singing. 5. We waited to buy a movie ticket. Now, continue with other five questions. Six, the doctor encouraged his patient eat 
healthy food. Seven, my house is easy find. Eight, Ranga is interested in become an artist. Nine, Ria is saving money by some novel books. Ten, when I met my mother, I couldn't help hug her. Now, let's check the answers. Six, the doctor encouraged his patient to eat healthy food. Seven, my house is easy to find. Eight, Ranga is interested in becoming an artist. Nine, Ria is saving money to buy some novel books. Ten, when I met my mother, I couldn't help hugging her. Well, that is all our lesson today. Thank you for your attention. Stay safe, be kind, be happy, and God bless you all.